Thanks for joining us for another FAST class. I'm Jessica, a technical consultant at Savantis. Today, we'll be covering one of the fundamental features of Dynamics 365 sales, tracking, managing, and qualifying leads. There are some behind the scenes features and setup that you may not realize can go into the process of managing your leads within Dynamics. So we'll cover that and more. As you're watching, feel free to drop any questions in the chat and my colleagues will answer them for you. First, why create these potential customers as leads versus contacts? Leads, uh, that this table is specifically designed to, as a holding table for potential customers. As you know, not all leads pan out and you don't need that unnecessary data in your system. Uh, so it helps keep it simple. And it also means that you have to make a conscious decision to qualify that lead and create that account and contact. And when you do so, it requires no additional data entry from you on your end. So it really is uh, a, an asset to this system. Leads can come into your system in many ways. And it's important you make the most of every opportunity that arises, whether they find your website or receive a, you receive a word of mouth referral. Leads can be created manually or captured through other methods like embedded forms or D365 landing pages and marketing emails. Savantis can help you with automatically creating leads from external sources. Another common request from our clients is help with importing leads or contacts and, and other entities. Uh, this can be easily imported from an Excel spreadsheet, and I would like to walk you through that in rather intuitive process. So I have a view here that I have created and named import template. And I have kind of the four either required or business recommended columns on the form. So if you do not have all the required columns, then your import will fail. So make sure you would include those. And then I've just added a random filter in here so that I'm left with an empty spreadsheet when I download it. So then I can go over here to Excel templates. I just clicked on that three dots there and I can download my template. And I, I've already done that here, so I'll open it up. So I had this just this empty spreadsheet here and then I have added a lead um, into um, this spreadsheet and I'm going to save it. And I can come back up to these three dots and I can click import from Excel. I can choose my file, click next. And we have duplicate detection rules in Dynamics to prevent, well, duplicate leads or contacts from um, entering our system. You may have seen a prompt that um, says like, hey, you have a couple contacts with the same phone number. Do you want to merge these records as a way to prevent duplicates in your system? So this is one of, one of those ways we keep duplicates from entering our system. We have the option here to review mapping. And so what you see here is the fields you have in Excel and the fields you want to map them to in Dynamics. So I want to map topic in my spreadsheet to the topic column in Dynamics. So it's just telling that data where to land. And I'm gonna click Finish Import. So from here, if you click Track Progress, you can see um, that import as it's happening and you can watch for any successes and failures. And the nice thing with failures is you're able to um, look at a good um, comment on that error and see what is actually preventing your data from successfully importing. So here it says that the status is transforming, so it's getting ready, now it's importing. And it was, you can see here that it was successful. 
So if you had any failures, they would show up here in rows that you could kind of look at and see what was wrong, but we don't have any failures today. I can see that that import has brought in this, this lead for me. And you can see that those four fields have shown up in the correct spots. So this is the out of box lead form. Uh, you can see you have the ribbon up here with some options, including to, or to qualify the lead, um, which we will come back to. We have a header, and in this header, uh, you can specify the lead source where you obtained the lead. You can specify the rating of the lead whether they're new or contacted. And then we have kind of basic information, contact information about the lead here. And we also have a timeline. The, the more information you can gather about your lead will save you time down the road when you end up qualifying this lead and they become a contact in your system and, or an opportunity. Um, the timeline is a place to kind of collect all your activities um, and interactions with the potential customer. For example, if you made a phone call. That here. And now anyone who interacts with this lead can kind of see what interactions have happened and when. As you we have this bar across the top, the lead to opportunity sales process bar. It's a business process flow. Um, it is designed to kind of walk your salespeople through the sales process so that they are consistently interacting with the leads and covering all their bases in the sales process. Like the rest of dynamics, this form is customizable. You can rearrange any of the components. You can remove columns or fields. You can add custom fields that are important for your process. And, and same thing with this business process flow. You can also customize this for your process as well. And that is something Savantis can help you with as well. There are several add-on features for sales available from Microsoft, including lead routing. It's a sales insights feature, which is included in the sales premium license or as an add-on to sales enterprise licenses. It helps you automatically route new leads to available salespeople. Uh, it can be set up with specific conditions that salespeople must meet in order to be assigned new leads or leads can be assigned to any seller. It can be set up to specific sellers or teams based on specific capacity or assigned with round robin or load balancing rules. And of course, leads can be manually reassigned um, just by opening that lead record and assigning a different owner at any time. So let's walk through the process of qualifying and disqualifying a lead. Let's say that Joni Mitchell is, in, is not interested in uh, doing business with our company at the time. So we are going to disqualify this lead. You can see that we, now this is in a read only state and it is disqualified. We can also reactivate the lead if we've decided, if Joni has come back to us, so, you know, a, a, some time later and decided she is actually interested, interested, we can reactivate that lead. Now let's go through the qualify process. So there's a few things to notice now that the lead has been qualified. You'll see that I did not enter a single thing. All I did was click a button. And all of this information has, flow, has flowed over from the lead. So we have the, the topic, the contact, the budget, everything that I've entered into that lead is here without any additional data entry. 
The other uh, thing that has happened is a contact has been created. You can see in this field here, it's not a text field. There isn't, you know, it isn't black. It is actually a lookup field. So I can click on here and it routes me to the contact. So now this is a more permanent record in Dynamics that you can continue to add to over the course of business with the client. Also, you can see the same with account. Is This is now a lookup to the account. And now this gives you the opportunity to add other employees at this company. Um, and again, to build a long-term relationship with this customer. So you can see once it becomes an opportunity, you have a lot more options for um, information gathering. And this is really the time in the process where you start talking about a quote or different products they may be interested in. So it really is the, a distinct next step in the sales process. So an administrative tidbit for those of you who are more technologically savvy uh, is you can map additional fields to flow over from your lead to your opportunity when it is created. Um, so these are all examples of fields that were mapped from the lead to the opportunity. So that is a relationship. And that relationship you can find in this is the the back end of the system i've went into customizations this is the lead table and it is a one-to-many relationship with the opportunity so you can create many opportunities uh, from from a idea and um, so you can see when you click into that relationship that these are fields that are mapped to the target opportunity. So the source is the lead, the target is the opportunity. So like we looked at topic and that flowed over to the opportunity. We looked at that budget amount of, I believe it was a thousand dollars that you know, float over to the opportunity. So you can add custom fields into here to map from the lead to the opportunity, but that is something you want an something that an administrator needs to do, or again, you always have Savantis to help with that too. Once the hard work of lead nurturing is done and trust has been established, you can now qualify your lead and take the next steps in the sales process. We'll be covering opportunities in a future FAST class, so stay tuned for that. Dynamics 365 Sales is a great well-rounded sales management solution for businesses of all sizes. Connecting, automating, and streamlining your sales pipeline is a simple yet effective way to make strides towards business growth. And whether you've already integrated Dynamics 365 Sales into your sales process or you're now thinking about adding it into your App back. There are countless ways to make it work for your business needs. Thanks so much for joining us today. We hope you learned something new to make your process even better or learn something that makes you more excited to start working with Dynamics 365 sales. We hope you'll join us for next week's Fast Class where we'll talk about the basics of event management in Dynamics 365 marketing. Thanks again. <laughs>